Main event, John Moxley defending the interim AEW title against Brody King. Similar in a lot of ways to the Penta Escuro uh, Roosh match. They had a fight. A very, very violent fight. It was more... Uh, that match was more back and forth. The, the, the Lucha Libre match, the Luchadors match. This match here was a super heavyweight against a mere heavyweight. And the super heavyweight dominated. Killed him to death for a long time. But Moxley would not die. Brody misses a very violent cannonball into the corner. And like, I thought he broke the ring post. And then he came straight down. I thought he broke his neck. Neither actually happened. And uh, Moxley's fighting back with superplexes and bulldog choke. And Brody hits a big Larry the pile driver. Hits him with the cannonball this time. But Moxley survives. He <laughs> Moxley catches him with the DDT. Lays in the hammer and anvil elbows. But you can see Brody is just getting mad. He's just irritated. This little fucker has the audacity to elbow him. So Moxley transitions to a choke. And even a giant like Brody needs air. He briefly breaks it by falling on top of him. But Mox just grabs it right back. Transitions to the bulldog choke. And Brody King blacks out. He is done. We had another fight here on Wednesday Night TV. I was greatly entertained by the two fights in the second half of the show. You know, these Moxley matches, you know, I mentioned that I was uh, I was back with him and Tom. And the thing with Moxley matches is it's not like it's uh, all called in the ring. Like, they have ideas for what they're going to do in the right. match. Right, yes, yes. But it's also not like it's completely choreographed from start to finish. So what it is is it's like we got these ideas, we got these spots, we got this finish, and then it's just like a fight. Yeah. And you don't know what's going to happen. Good and luck. And take what you can. And yes. Give what you will. And uh, and it comes across that way, and it's a very exciting style of wrestling. Oh, it's awesome. It's very fun to oh. watch a John Moxley match Cause fight. It never, and like you say, obviously some of the stuff is, is planned ahead. They have spots for the heat, and they come back to the finish and all that, but... For the most of it, you're feeling like you don't know what's going to happen because Moxley doesn't know what's going to happen. I don't know if he doesn't know what is. Well, I mean, sometimes probably doesn't know what's going to happen. I'm, there are sometimes he does not know what's going to yeah. happen. He does not. He does not know what he's going to do next. But damn it! They, but that's what makes it so fun. They make it. It's not supposed to be a yes. dance. It's not supposed to be. A, 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 it's not a, supposed to be pretty. God damn it! No, it's supposed to be combat. Yes. So that was a very fun episode of AEW. It was funny. You mentioned this on Observer Live. So they went three minutes past the top of the hour, and uh, they mentioned, you know, we've, we've been given the, the opportunity to go uh, past the top of the hour till the match ends. And there's, it's, it's like 58, 59, and they're nowhere near the finish. And the announcers start yelling at us to make sure we got our DVR set. <laughs> like, if we get our DVR set, we're either watching it, in which case we don't need to set our DVR, or if the DVR set, we ain't watching it. So how can we fix a DVR? Right. I think they need to... Here's the thing. I think they got to make it a thing. It's either there's going to be an overrun every week or there's not. I don't think that ending at the top of the hour and then every now and then at the last second telling us we're going to go long, so make sure you, that's not going to work. There needs to be, like I know when I watch NXT 2.0, it's always going two hours and nine minutes, every single time. They, they've always blocked out two hours and nine minutes. Here, 99% of the time, it's exactly two hours, but every now and then, I think twice now, They've gone over. And one time, for the first time ever, my YouTube TV didn't catch it. It caught it this time, barely. Like the moment Moxley won, the show ended. But I think they need to make it consistent. Either you're going to have an overrun or you're not. This is how the show begins, really. Asuka does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.